Do you struggle with problems like early extension, hanging back, or coming over the top in your golf swing? Here are 5 tips from skillless coaches to show you how to sync up your arms and upper body to improve your downswing. Get up. You like your fourth into the ground. That's it, like that. Yeah. With your hands, put your palms flat. Yeah. Okay, go up. All right, palms then down to the floor, and then outwards. There you go. Yeah, yeah? not... All you're doing at the moment is you go in there, you come in there, and then it's in there. All right, so there and outwards, that's it. So the extension, then you get with your arms. Yeah. Yeah, so you're here, yeah. and it's there, and then outwards. That's it. A lot better movement patterns. Good. And then Do you find yourself hanging back like the player on the left-hand side are you hitting behind the ball? Well, next time you're out training, simply try this drill. Put the ball towards your left foot, make some swings trying to hit that ball. The only way you can hit this is without hanging back. Now simply try it after a few swings with the ball back in its normal position and see how you go. Before we continue with more tips, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the Skillless channel for more golf instruction from the world's best coaches. If you struggle with the lead side of your body coming up too early in your downswing causing inconsistent strikes, here's a great feeling for you. Take your setup on a side heel lie. Make a full rotation, full backswing turn. Ride the slope down, keeping the lead side of your body lower than the trowel side for as long as you possibly can. Don't be worried by your head moving forwards as you do this. Take this same feeling to the flat ground. Focus on keeping the lead side lower for as long as possible. It's an exaggeration. It should feel quite far forward. Try and execute this same feeling over the ball. Early extension. It's the scourge of many a golfer. You know the situation when on the downswing your body straightens up and a lot of informed minds will contend that it is the result of an open club face. Now I could agree because doing this will give you more time to square the head. But I want to offer to you the fact that your body may not be in the situation where it can stay in its angles. So check this out. I'm using my mobility stick. It's the long version, great for this. You could use a long broomstick if you don't have one. Get this mobility stick in the small of your back. Now early extension would look something like this. In golf posture, you wind up that lead side, you see it gets to the ground. Now as you unwind, stuff levels off. You will find that when you replace this side with that, that it's a very different place and it really extends that lead side it hits you in your glute and you'll feel a lot of unwinding here with a contraction in the trail side. A great way to feel the club shallow out on the downswing is taking one arm swings. So from the top of the swing, you're gonna feel the club head fall behind you and the shaft of the club shallow out as you're following through. What you don't want to feel is the club head and the shaft getting out in front of you because that would promote an over-the-top move. Skillless coaches have taught PGA Tour and LPGA Tour players, including Tiger Woods, Cam Smith, Brooks Kepka, Kevin Na, Cameron Champ, and Lydia Ko. If you like this video, subscribe to the Skillless channel to learn more from many of the world's best coaches.